Over the last several weeks, we've been talking about solve your solvable problems. But what do you do when you're gridlocked? I mean, you know that endless disagreement. Gridlock conflict is a perpetual issue in your relationship, and it may seem hopeless, but it's not. And you can actually learn how to deal with it. Now, don't worry. Every relationship has gridlocked conflict. So the primary goal is to move from gridlock to dialogue and to truly understand each other's goals and then come up with a compromise. Now, John Gottman out of the University of Washington states that acknowledging and respecting each other's deepest, most personal hopes and dreams is key to saving and enriching your relationship. Now, almost all gridlocked conflicts stem from unfulfilled dreams. You see, gridlock is a sign that the dreams that you have for your life aren't being addressed or respected by your spouse. Now, dreams are the hopes, mm. the aspirations, and the wishes that are part of your identity and give purpose and meaning to your life. So dreams can be very practical, such as wanting to achieve a certain amount of savings. But other dreams, they can be kind of profound. And often, these dreams remain hidden. For example, a dream to make a lot of money may simply be a deep need for security. Often our deepest dreams are rooted in our childhood. I mean, you may long to recreate mm -hmm. some of your warmest childhood memories. For example, having dinner every night without interruption by cell phones or the television. Or you may feel a need to distance yourself from painful memories by not duplicating the same activity. I mean, you may not want to have dinner because it was often a scene of conflict between your parents. So your dreams are not inherently bad but they can cause problems if they are hidden or not respected by your spouse. Now, happy couples realize that helping each other realize their dreams is one of the goals of marriage. In healthy, happy marriages, couples incorporate each other's goals into their marriage. These goals can be as concrete as living in a certain city or attaining a certain academic degree, but they can also be intangible, such as wanting to feel safe or wanting life to be a grand adventure. In a happy marriage, neither spouse insists or attempts to manipulate the other into giving up their dreams. They simply work it out as a team. They fully take into account each other's wishes and desires. You make decisions with mutual respect and acknowledgement of each other's aspirations. When either spouse doesn't fully appreciate the importance of supporting their spouse's dreams, gridlock is inevitable. Absolutely. Your dreams, goals, and aspirations need to be shared. So if you've reached gridlock on any issue in your relationship, whether it's big or small, the first step is to identify which dream or dreams are fueling the conflict. So one good indicator that you're wrestling with a hidden dream is that you see your spouse as being the sole source of your marital problems. <laughs> You've got to keep working on your unresolved mm -hmm. conflicts. Now get this, research tells us that couples who are demanding of their relationship are more likely to have deeply satisfying unions compared to those who lower their expectations. So one, become a dream detective. You see, oftentimes dreams go unspoken or underground in marriage. They may see their dreams as childish or impractical. But the dream is still something you long for. And if your marriage doesn't honor it, conflict will most likely arise. So in other words, when you bury a dream, it's just gonna resurface in a disguised form as a gridlock conflict. So share with each other your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Come to an understanding of the dreams that you have and your spouse also has. And when you have this conversation, suspend all judgment. Relax, mm -hmm. give each other time. Do not attempt to solve the problem immediately. Ask open-ended questions. Soothe each other. If you feel like you're becoming flooded with emotion or incapable of a productive conversation, take a break. According to John Gottman, if your heart exceeds over 100 beats per minute, you won't be able to hear what your spouse is saying no matter how hard you try. My friends, you need to accept that some mm -hmm. problems are unsolvable. So here are a few steps that you can take to help defeat gridlock. Define the minimal core areas that you cannot yield on. Define your areas of, re of flexibility. Devise a temporary compromise that honors both of your dreams. And above all, love and respect each other. My friends, all conflict may not be solvable, but it doesn't need to hurt. You have a great day.